I don't know. It's something. There's some magic in this. Hey, beautiful. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Jada and welcome. Today's video, I'm going to be testing out the Tati Blendiful. Tati Beauty Blendiful. I ordered this. It was literally like two days ago and boom. Shipping was super fast. I didn't even have to pay the extra monies to get it super duper quick. So this is how it comes. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks so freaking nice. Look at it. So this is it. This is Tati Beauty. No harsh lines. Okay, I'm excited. $18 for the Blendiful. So the Blendiful is something that she created and she said that, you could, that it's a game changer. This is going to change the game. So I, at first I waited, okay? At first I was like, all right, like I, it looks like a powder puff. Like, mm, I don't know. But then I seen how she was using it, all that good stuff. And then just how everything just looked flawless pores everyone was saying their pores were just like gone and as soon as i just heard that where it's like oh i can't even see my pores i was like add in cart add in cart because i wanted to play with it so see so this is it so it comes like this which is really nice i like the simple packaging i love that so this one is for like on the go so you just put this in your purse i don't know about you guys but sometimes like foundation will crease and stuff so just touch that up, a little bit of creasing under the eye, touch that up, you need a little powder, pat, pat, pat. So this one will be going in my purse for sure, for like on the go, I love that. I love for the price that you get a mini, which is freaking awesome. So here's the main one, flip it over, and it feels really soft. Something different. Let's just begin, I'm gonna zoom you guys in closer so we can get a little bit more personal. All right, so she did say that you can use a pore filling primer. When applying this, if you do wanna go in with like a moisturizer, apply that just like with your hands and stuff. But I do wanna try the pore, pore one. Add some primer there, add some primer here, and then on my forehead. You could do swipe, so you can just swipe it or you can pat whatever you wanna do. Okay. I don't know if it's because I'm used to like beauty blenders, but like I want to pat. Okay. It went on pretty nice, you guys. Like, it's going on pretty nice. Are you recording, darling? Yeah. Nice. I don't see them. Can I touch? Like, I've seen this before, like on powders and stuff. Yeah, she said yeah. that this is just her own little twist to it, though. Yeah, like her own little, she did her own little twist to it. Mm. I like how it blurs out my foreheads. So I love putting this on my forehead because then the foundation just looks so nice but okay that it just went in really nice went in there's nothing left on here which is really really nice so let's go in with foundation so for the foundation that i will be using is a milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation and concealer and i'm in the shade sand beige so i'm excited about this part because i'm like i wonder how I don't know. I'm just freaking excited. And I'm just going to apply it like I normally would, like this. All right, so now for the foundation, let's see. See, I want to pat, but I'm going to be swiping as well. It's not doing bad. Swiping, it's like, okay. It's going on really nice. I went on really good. It's going to be so easy to get down here as well. Just a nice little swipe. It's a little dirty. Not a lot dirty. Okay. Okay. I wonder if I directly pick up from here how that will be. Let me see. I'm not bad. It gets like the same amount of dirty, you know? And it's going to be really easy. See how easy that was for me to like pinch right here? So just pinching right there and then I got to just go... Clean up. Okay. Okay. Other side now. I'm like pat and swiping. Pat swiping. So you can do your whole face with this. I'm like, hmm. I'm intrigued. I'm ex I'm excited. So you can use this foundation to conceal as well. Like use as concealer because it's concealer and a foundation. But I still want to go in with a concealer just to see how it would perform. And this is like really easy to work around your face. Like just you grab it and you like mold it. And it's really easy just to like get around your nose. Right there in the eye area. Okay, Tati. I see. 
everything looks really really nice so this is just the foundation and okay it's looking good it is looking good i got it all where i needed oh i don't think i got Oh my god, tip of my nose. This makes me want to play with it too. I'm going to go in with one of my favorite concealers, the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. This one is in the shade Latte. So I'm just going to add some right here. I don't want to add a lot just because this is, this is a new tool. And I tend to go heavy sometimes with a concealer. Now with the beauty sponge, I know that the beauty sponge will soak, out, soak up a lot of it. But I, I haven't played with this, so I don't know. So I'm going to pinch it, which I think is so cool. And we're gonna get in there. I wanna pat. I don't wanna swipe with a concealer because if you swipe, I feel like we're going to lose coverage. And if you pat, it tends to stay full coverage instead of us just like swiping it around, you know? Ooh, that looks nice. That looks nice. I like how that looks this side. I'm loving it. It's looking nice. I just want to pat a little bit right here. Ooh. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty. This is the Tantor, and this is in the shade Light. I'm going to use this to contour, because you could do contour, highlight. You can do your whole face. So I want to, let's see. So first, I'm just going to apply it just like that. And then I want to go in just dipping the product and see which one I prefer better. Add this. Right there, okay? And I really like the Huda Beauty contour because I feel like it's very forgiving as well. And it blends so nicely. So going in with the blendable, bending it. And we're just going to just do a little flick motion going up. Don't pull down. Flick up like if it's going into your cheekbones. It's cupping your face. See how easy that is to blend out? It's just very, very nice. And it just like melts into your skin like butter. So there is that. I can build it up, of course. And now I'm just gonna go in and dip. It's going to dip into the product. And we're going to contour like that. And I'm gonna see which one we prefer to do. Oh yeah. Got my hairs in there and todo. Honestly, it's just personal preference of which one you prefer to go in with. So this one's more softer. I feel like this one, you can see a little bit more. But again, all up to you. So I like to draw it on. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in. Let's see if we can do the nose. Because I see on Tati's thing, it had the nose. She had contour on her nose too. So I'm excited to see how that is going to look. See, like me even just going like that, I already blended the contour. That stuff is so awesome. Okay, so now I'm just going to just flick up. Look how easy that is. Oof. Done. This is going to be so easy here. Just going to pinch. Oh yeah, I really like how everything just, yeah, so, so far, really good. All right, so now for powder, I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty, this one is in Blondie. I'm going to go back in and pick up some product. I'm like super nervous. Set with powder. Okay, so far, so good. Okay, so now I'm just going to just tap it on my nose. I'm going to go on my forehead. Go like this. Go in again. Boom! So all done. And I really like how everything looks. Like I'm not mad at how it looks or anything like that oh i bet let me see if my pores are gone like everyone else's yeah 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 i'm all excited yeah they're like oh yeah like it looks really good i'm gonna pat by my forehead because i'm getting a little oily right there you see that so i'm gonna go over here on this side también do the same and i really love how like 
she pointed it right here at the tip so it's just really easy just to get in there and get her done so before i continue with the rest of my face i am just going to just do my eyes real quick we will be using tati beauty her eyeshadow palettes and we're just going to do like something really quick so i'm going to go in with my primer so i'm going to go in with the tip and then we're just going to just blend this out all right so that blended out nicely so i'm gonna go in with this shade right here all right so i'm just gonna go in with that shade and we're just going to blend all around we're just gonna do something just very simple but very eye-catching and her eye her eyeshadow eyeshadows are very very pigmented so we have no problem doing something really quick and easy especially when the shadows are very pigmented I did do a tutorial using her palette. I did three looks, so if you guys would like to check that out, I'll leave it up and down below. I did three looks for for the new year, and I was not disappointed. You don't even have to go in with a, a brush like this. You can even literally go in with something like this, pick up the shadow, and just pat your whole eye with it. Just because you guys know I like a naked eye, and this is just that simple just go in dust it on it's gonna grip on it's gonna look beautiful because the shade is so freaking pretty and it's just that simple you can pop something on the lid or you can leave it like this it's really your preference just for the video purposes i will go in with the shade right here which is the same same row of the eyeshadow that we just used i'm just gonna go over and just tap 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 and that's definitely going to be very eye-catching you guys see that just now it's like then we're going to put our lashes on but you see how easy that was just picking it up i used one brush well technically two but you know pretty much just one brush using my finger now and it's just that simple curl my lashes this is a lancome curler been asked which one it was going in with the l'oreal lash paradise so for lashes i will be using the ColourPop falsies and these ones are in miami yeah let's hope i didn't break it all right so i need to get some on my neck now i have a feeling this is going to be super easy and convenient especially for me because i don't go outside a lot i'm just going to just grab some on here and then it's going to be so easy just to apply this look how easy that was so with this product no excuses to not match your neck chest area because this is going to be super easy just to get in there boom done and it's a lot easier because like it's a lot bigger so just swipe 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 and boom you're done instead of the beauty blender we have to go in and pat 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 which I probably will still do. This one is probably gonna be a lot of time saving because it's just gonna be easier just to go in, pick it up, boom, done. I'm so used to spraying my face and then patting over it. I wonder how different that's gonna be. Okay, so I do wanna go in with blush. Oh, I do wanna go in with highlighter too. This is the ColourPop Quarters. Going in another part, cause I don't wanna go over the same part. I'm going to pick up some of the Super Shock. Okay, that applied that nicely. Really, really good. Ooh. Okay, going in with Fenty Beauty, I will be using Private Island. I'm just going to just... I wonder... All right, let me see. Going in with this side, we're going to pick up some bronzer. I don't even know how to do them all. Ugh, let's see. over it it's just something different something new you know where you're like oh, you're not used to doing something like this it is going on though look at that okay I'm surprised like I thought it was gonna look weird it's going to flick up so even this is like super easy just to go in and just blend it it's wow like it's just so easy just get in there blend it boom you're done and i wanted to go 
right there with the powder as well just because like it looks cool when she like bent it and she did that so let's go in all right So if needed, if you need to clean up, just pinch and it's so easy. Just like that. And it's just really easy for you just to clean it, all that, get it done. I'm very freaking happy. Going to just let that sit for a minute. Okay, then you just go in and you just bring it down. Okay, I'm going to spray my face using the LA Girl Setting Spray Fix and Set. I got a lot of powder on my face and I need it to get soaked up so it doesn't look so powdery. I'm pretty sure I can't go over my face, but then again, foundation is wet, so can we? I'm going to try it. So I spray my sponge, so I'm gonna spray this thingy. So this is like only the clean spot right here, so I'm just gonna go over and you can see. I'm just gonna press and it's it's doing what the beauty blender would do too. Okay, cool. I just needed to add some of my bottom lash. It was dead. Alright, so that worked really good. Like it soaked up the powder. So even doing that, I'm like, hell yeah, because that was a concern. I was like, what do I how am I gonna oh because that's something that I'm usually you know doing all the time, but don't be afraid, wet it, even wet the little one if you want. I will be wetting just the tip. And again, I'm just using the LA Girl Setting Spray. So I use that. It's wet, stamp. I'm gonna go in and just press my forehead because that's where I have the powder también on my forehead. And it's good, you guys. Because I was like, oh, I'm gonna disturb it. But you gotta think about it. We applied the liquid foundation. So pretty sure it's fine and it looks fine. So that's good. My face is gonna be set nice. So I am gonna use this one too to pick up a highlighter. This is a Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I'm just gonna go over, add some, and then I see, okay. And it gives you a nice, subtle highlight. Cause I know some of us tend to pack it on a lot. I know I do, but this really helps just to make it really nice and give a subtle highlight. Not too overboard, not too much, really nice. I'm going to pinch. Let's see if we can get her inner eye. Okay. Inner corner. Boom! We got it. Oh, yeah. We got it. Woo! Did my makeup. Oh, yeah. Just... So I'll be right back. I'm going to finish my hair and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Everything is all done. I'm very impressed with this. I really, really am. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. And yeah, my face looks really nice. Everything looks really good. It went on contour, literally everything from primer all the way down to my highlight, like just all the steps. So huge congrats to Tati for coming out with something that was really amazing. I know she says that this has already been like this is already like on the market, but this is her own little twist to it. And I like her twist. I can see people using this every day. I can see people using this on their clients. It's very convenient, very convenient. There's so many ways you can bend it, different spots that you can use. It was awesome. And I like that we have the mini as well. So we can just put it in our purse, little touch up here and there, pat, 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 done. So I'm really like, yeah. It looks, it looks gross. It looks like, ooh, but not a big deal wash it it's fine she does say that you can put it in a wash and like in a laundry bag and wash it and stuff like that or you can just wash it by hand to me it's not that big of a deal it's like a beauty sponge get it wet every time wash it a little bit boom done Igual, do the same thing and about the pores like being really blurred i can see maybe it's because we're pushing the products like really deep into our pores you know like maybe this is helping with the texture and stuff like this this sort of like nice like you know that cloth like feel it just gets in there really really good instead of, of us doing with our fingers i don't really know i don't know it's something there's some magic in this that is just making it look really nice and just like blurred really really pretty but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this demo of me trying them out do i think it's worth it i definitely think it's worth it you get two for the price of one which is really awesome and there's just so much that you can do you can just bend and i like that i got to like wet 
this and not go over my face. You know what? You know what would have been cool? If she would have made this like a Ziploc bag. If she would have made that like a Ziploc bag. So if we wanted to like take it with us like on the go, like we're traveling or something like that, put it back in there, Ziploc. But I'll probably just do that by myself with my own Ziploc bag. So let me know if you guys are going to be purchasing it, what you guys think about it. What are your thoughts and opinions? Is there something that you guys want me to compare it to? Maybe you guys want to see all that good stuff. Let me do a up close so you guys can see my face. So here is... the face <laughs> here is my face and you just see like right here my pores a blood like everything just looks really nice and airbrushed everything down to like even the contour alrighty so I hope you guys enjoyed this review demo all that good stuff first impressions if you guys did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already to keep updated my videos the kid won't you guys besos a todos i love you guys so 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 much again let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below i'll see you guys in my next video besos 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 see you guys later bye